What is going on, everybody? I'm going to share three swing trade ideas that I will try to implement uh, sometime next week. It all depends upon price action, of course. I'm going to be looking at today Amazon, Tesla, and XOM for swing trade ideas. Now, when I get profits from these trades, if I end up winning these trades, the profits will go into buying dividend funds purely from profit, no money out of pocket, and having dividends for life. Uh, these are just my trade ideas. I am not a trading service. This is not financial advice whatsoever. I could lose all these trades. So I'm just sharing my ideas and what I'm doing. If that interests you, awesome. Uh, I'll be putting most of these ideas in my trades uh, in my Discord server. If you'd like to join a Discord server, uh, let me know through Discord if you're in one of the Discord servers I'm in, and then I'll let you in. Otherwise, you can't get into the Discord server, boys. It's only for people that I know. So sorry about that. Okay, here we go. So Amazon, as you see here, has been rejected from the 190 level, level several times. So just draw a little line here just for reference. So you see back there, it got rejected at 190. And then currently, it got rejected at 90. And then it broke out. So let's go look at this. This is exciting. Okay, so for my swing trade idea for Amazon, I am looking for it to come back down to this 190 level. If it tests and holds the 190 level, I am going to go long on Amazon. I don't know if I'm going to use shares or options yet. I have no idea. Like I said, these are just my trade ideas, and I'm just sharing what I'm doing. Not encouraging anyone at all to follow me because I could lose all of these. So there's that. So anyway, coming back down to 190, if it tests and holds it, I'm going to go long. Now, if it breaks the 190 level, I will be looking to go long, only long on Amazon. Why only long? The trend is just magnificent, huge bull run. Uh, no reason for me, personally, to be a contrarian and go short here on Amazon. So if it breaks 190 and goes to one of these EMAs, which it is which it respects immensely, then I will go long from that level. So this is my swing trade idea from Amazon. And then I don't know where I'm going to take profits. I'm just going to take profits where I feel good, where I know I can buy quite a few shares of a dividend stock or ETF and then uh, sell it for profits, put the profits, because that is free money minus taxes, into a dividend account and then get dividends free for life or however long that particular ETF is around. So this is my first idea on Amazon. Let's go look at Tesla. Okay, my next swing trade idea that I will be trying to implement next week will be buying puts on Tesla. But it depends on a couple things. This $200 level, let's zoom in here. You know, it's just been in this channel for a very, very long time. If it cannot break, if it cannot break 200 next week and hold above 200, I'm going to buy puts and ride this back down into the channel. Again, I have no idea where I'll be taking profits, possibly around one of the EMAs or 180. I think that looks like a good spot for me to take profits. Uh, like I said, I'll be going with quite a few contracts of Tesla on the put side. I'll probably put my personal stop loss around 205. So looking for a two or three to one risk reward on buying puts here on Tesla. And again, with the profits, I will put those into a dividend ETF, collect dividends for life, and keep my initial uh, principal and get in to something else. So I, I like this one. Uh, the problem with Tesla is she can be very volatile. Hasn't really been of late, but if she breaks out of this $200 level, boys, uh, she's going to rip up pretty hard. So uh, yeah, you got to be careful with Tesla, particularly going short. But if she comes back down to this channel, who knows? She could middle around this channel for months like she's done again. So uh, yeah, that's my uh, short idea, I guess, on Tesla. Let's go look at XOM. XOM is fascinating because I think I can work this two different ways. Let me show you here. 
me pull out to a weekly time frame. So as we see, XOM would zoom out here. Has been uh, flagging up here and just been in this channel for quite some time. I have shorted... I went puts up here. I put this in my Discord server way back then. Uh, I, put, I went short up here. I had to raise my stop loss uh, up a little bit. Averaged down, and then when it broke down, I went ahead and took profits. I don't know. I think it was somewhere around the 115 level um, here. And did pretty well on it, actually, even though it was only a $5 move or $7 move. I did really well because I had quite a few contracts. Um, so that one went really well. Now on this one, I'm going to go long to the top of the channel. Let me show you. I am looking maybe at this 114-ish level to go long. Um, maybe even 112. I want to see how XOM acts for a couple days next week and then uh, even though it will be a short trading week i'll see what happens with xom if it looks like it's going to hold one of these levels i'm going to go long on it uh i don't know yet with options or shares going long uh, i typically like to go long with shares if possible just depends and then i ride this up to the 120 level i may do options i don't know yet and then ride this up to 120 sell it and then if it looks like uh 120 is going to be resistance like it has for this amount of time however long this has been what going on a year and a half or something whatever um if it looks like it's going to be resistance again i will go short but i'm definitely going to sell around the 120 level on my long position uh, we are descending here, as you can see on a daily time frame. Uh, so I need to watch and see if it comes down a little bit further, right? Because as you see here, we're creating lower lows and lower highs. So if this is indeed a lower high here, right? And we come back down, then we'll probably make a lower low. So I need to watch this one a little more carefully. I may not be able to get into it next week. I need to see what happens. And she may come down and form another lower low there around 105. And then uh, I'll really start looking uh, to go long on XOM and then a risk reward will be really nice. These are my swing trade ideas. Let me know what you think if you want me to post my ideas. Again, don't follow me. You could lose every single trade. These are just the ideas of things that I'm looking at that I may be possibly getting into. Let me know what you think of the video. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper, out.